Sure, we cover 21 counties and we focus on cluster development, which basically means the intersection of universities, small and large companies, and funding to grow industries faster and smarter. That's right, there's some strong emerging opportunities where you don't have other people working, and those are in advanced energy and flexible electronics. It's, uh, it's really based on the Liquid Crystal Display Center at Kent State and the Akron, the polymers, that they, uh, the expertise they have there. So it's this evolution of the Liquid Crystal Displays, which we actually, by the way, invented That's in right. Northeast Ohio right. and lost the industry to Asia. So this is our next opportunity. So we need to take advantage as quickly as we can, pull together the companies, which we're doing, and provide service to the companies and the universities to grow that as fast as we can so we can gain that market advantage. Well, the different um, aspects of that are things like fuel cells, You can it, new nuclear technologies would certainly be in there, even clean coal technologies. But we've decided um, to focus in a couple of different areas for roadmaps because we think there's particular opportunity in Northeast Ohio to really gain an understanding of where we're going. So that's in energy storage, smart grid, electrification of transportation, and biomass waste to energy. Partly because we have what we call the whole value chain, so there's research elements, there's the supply chain, and there's the actual producers of um, different technologies. And so we have all of that, elements of that, within our region. And what the idea of the roadmaps is, is not to just say it's advanced energy, but let's get really specific. It's not only energy storage, it's these four systems in energy storage where we really have a competitive opportunity internationally. We're right in the middle of four roadmaps that have been funded by the Economic Development Administration, which is a federal entity, and our current funders. So we have matched money there. And we're going to have these four roadmaps. So we're in the research stage of that. We're starting to pull together the companies and the universities to then help develop the vision for the region. So it's a combination of research and then pulling the people that are already doing this stuff and saying, OK, let's get buy-in on where we're going so that we can all head in the same direction. Well, it's a great point because we couldn't do what we do in, in cluster development if it wasn't for Jumpstart funding early stage companies in energy and doing a lot of hands-on work with the companies. If it wasn't for the Greater Cleveland Partnership being able to do advocacy in the Greater Akron Chamber in those areas. So there's a real partnership that goes on with many different organizations. One other example is in small business innovation research grants. These are federally funded, totally non-dilutive capital to the companies as they're in the research stage of different products or different applications that they want to bring into market. So it can be established company, but with new, new ideas, new things. Free money from the feds, you know, I mean, there's always the reporting strings. We are all getting together, so BioEnterprise, Jumpstart, Team Neo even, and, um, and us to say, how do we, and Magnet, excuse me, how do we make sure that companies have access to this kind of non-dilutive capital? So we have a program that we're managing together along with the Ohio Aerospace Institute as well. So it's a really broad collaboration. We have to make sure that we're diversified. So we can't forget about our manufacturing base, our large industrial base, utilizing those assets to drive into you know, emerging and existing clusters like bioscience, like energy, like flexible electronics. So it's about diversifying. It's not about just these horses. It's about you know, many. Well, it's interesting because I, I was talking to Ned Hill the other day, actually, at, at CSU, and we were talking about the fact that we're going through an economic transformation in Northeast Ohio. And these things, you know, in his estimation, take about 20 years. And let's say we're about halfway there. Um, so we st while we still have a lot of work to do, there's indicators like the Bureau of Labor Statistics came out with a report that we're the number one manufacturing job growth in the country right now. So there's things that point to real progress and coming out of the recession, I think we're going to see that we start the, the, um, the uh, baseline is much higher than it was before the recession.
Really, the metrics become a combination of jobs, leverage capital, and some. a lot of that's private capital, but you can't forget about state and federal capital and making sure that we continue to port, support things like the third frontier. Um, and then, of course, there is um, a new company formation. That's an important, you know, as long as they uh, measuring survival of those companies is important as well. Um, so it's really a combination. You need to look at all of those different factors as you're, you know, driving this economy forward. Third Frontier is critical in Ohio's success. It is the one of the only programs in the country that is going to have substantial capital to invest in these things. While all other states are pulling back, Ohio's voters, 62%, voted that this is the way that we should invest in our state. We should invest in growing our own. And so that concept becomes extremely important, and the fact that we have this funding makes us so much more competitive than other states.